mind activity is absence of your presence. You can be certain that whenever you are thinking, you are not present. You are lost in your own little elusive world. So what is the point in being alive if you're not even here to enjoy being alive? What is the point of being alive if it's not even you who is living, it is the mind instead? This is why it is so important to silence your mind as soon as possible. But the thing is, we tend to feel that it's so hard to silence the mind, it's so hard to control the mind. But in this video, I want to let you know that you have the power to instantly silence the mind. Yes, of course, if you meditate for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, at some point, you will feel silent within yourself. But it is a fact that you're not going to meditate every day, all day long. And if you always need to meditate 30 minutes in order to be silent within your mind until you open your eyes and take action in the world, then you're not going to be liberated. You will be liberated only the day that you are able to even with your eyes open as you take action to still be in the state of meditativeness so that your whole life can become your meditation. And how do we do this? There is a method that I share a lot that I highly suggest you to do, which is to control the inhalation and exhalation of oxygen as slow as possible by the nose all day long. But what I'm going to share with you is even more instant, quick than this method. Both will have different results because when you control the inhalation and exhalation of oxygen, you are storing pranic energy within you that bring vitality, that bring more intelligence, more health, more everything that is positive. But the method that I'm going to share with you is to really allow you to uncommon right now, create the perfect silence. So you know the sentence where attention goes, energy flows. Well, if you want to stop thinking, but you keep thinking about thinking, you think about not thinking, you become so aware of your thought, you become mad about having your thought, it's not going to work because you're focusing on thought and therefore thought will be enhancing. If you want silence, you have to be able to just focus on the gap, on the silence in between each word, in between each sentences. And you can try it right now. If you just take a moment to be conscious of the silence in between your two next thoughts, you will see that already the silence is growing. But now the next step is as soon as you notice the silence, just see for a moment how does it feel. What is the difference between thinking and between silence? What do you feel exactly? To my side, I will describe it as as if I am in space. When I allow myself to focus on silence, it feels like gravity is less intense. It feels like I am floating in nothingness. It feels like I am becoming lightheaded, maybe even a little bit euphoric sometime. And the reason that I say to feel how it feels to be silent is because once you identify it, once you have your first experience of silence, the goal is for you to remember what is the feeling so that you can create it back on command. Because feeling, emotion are energy on motion. So if you can simply reproduce the feeling, you will be tuning your brain into the frequencies of silence. Thinking is a frequency. Silence is a frequency. Just like meditation, sadness, happiness, all of it are frequencies. And the thing is, first, you need meditation or any types of, any types of practices that will give you your first experience of silence so that only then when you had the experience, you can remember and reproduce it on command. So let's just try it for a moment. If you just close your eyes, find out a silent gap in between two sentences or two words, 
And as you feel the silence, you can notice that the noise all around you, you're becoming so much more aware of it. I hear the birds, the wind, a certain brown noise like. And it is said by Taoism that to become meditative, you can just listen to your surrounding. So just see for yourself, do you see anything? Are you able to witness a certain silence within your mind? Let me know within the comment. I would love to hear how would you describe it? Because as we describe it, as we become familiar with how silence feels, it allows us, just like a radio, you know how you can tune the radio into a certain frequencies to channel a certain music? Similarly, you can tune your brain to channel silence or noise. And once you learn to tune yourself into silence, you'll notice that it's kind of like an elastic because it always wants to go back to noise. But you consciously have to keep turning it, keep the frequencies and the feeling of silence. And the more that you do it, the more that you readjust it hundreds and thousands of times in a single day. Every time that you readjust yourself to silence because you found yourself thinking, your consciousness is growing. Your ability to be silent is growing. And you'll find out that your intuition, your ability to feel, everything that is positive within you will be enhancing like crazy. Because a mind that is constantly thinking is like a cup of water that is full. No matter the blessing that God wants to give you, that other people want to share with you, it's not going to enter your being because it's just going to overfill and fall all around your cup because you're always full. But when you can become empty, you are ready to receive the blessings of God. So make this your sadhana which is a daily practice, a daily discipline, to always at all time do your best to cultivate the frequencies of silence, to tune your brain in the right way. And you'll even feel that a certain pressure is happening in your pineal gland. And that's totally normal because the pineal gland is piezoelectric. It means that when you add pressure into it, it creates an energy field. And this is tremendously powerful for your spiritual evolution. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you're going to practice the method. I would love to hear about you. And remember to like and subscribe because every Friday a new video comes your way. I'm Simon and together we grow spiritually beyond pretending. Hare Krishna.